we as humans can communicate with each other through writing, signing, and even facial expressions and body language. But most often we communicate through the words we speak. Many words we say can be pleasant, and many words can be not so pleasant. So as a Christian, what is coming out of your mouth? Are you speaking words of encouragement and building up those around you in your life, which we are commanded to do? Or are you being negative, critical, complaining, and tearing others down when you speak? Or perhaps you have the habit of saying words that would make a sailor blush. If you are critical, negative, or constantly saying inappropriate words, Jesus tells us exactly where that is coming from. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart brings forth good, and an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart brings forth evil. For out of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaks. I confess, I mourn over the fact that many times in my life I have focused too much on my own problems and struggles, like loneliness, betrayals, and financial issues, or simply getting irritated when things were not going my way, like being stuck in traffic, or mistakes with food orders, and especially the various issues that would arise at work. As a result, I would complain and gripe to anyone that would listen. I am convicted when I think back on these times and wonder how many opportunities that I may have missed to be there for someone struggling, or to build up those around me, or speak life and encouragement to those needing it. As a Christian, we are supposed to be witnesses for Christ, and we are not going to be a very good witness if we are constantly being negative and critical about our own circumstances or about other people in our lives. So what is the main influence that determines what our heart is full of that gets exposed when we speak? Our mind. Rather, if you were like I used to be and are constantly dwelling about your problems or you're thinking about what you don't have or thinking about all the things that are currently not going your way, then you will, in turn, speak negatively and be critical. Or if you're constantly watching TV or listening to music that is full of hatred, negativity, or foul language, then you are poisoning your heart and thus will end up speaking in ways that dishonor God. See, when our mind is polluted, it will corrupt our heart, and then we will find it really easy to say and do things we ought not to do. So as a Christian, if this is a current struggle in your life, what should you do? Well, change what you allow in your mind whether that is changing what you watch or the music you listen to, or changing what you choose to dwell on in your thoughts. Paul says in 2 Corinthians, Casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Do your thoughts follow the teachings and commands of the Bible, or are your thoughts contrary to God's holy word? Paul also says in Philippians, Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Now, the devil cannot take away your salvation, but he can take away your influence for Christ when you give him just a little room to operate in your mind. Strengthen your minds by praying daily, studying the scriptures intentionally so you will know exactly what God says to you and about you. And avoid all things, be it music, movies, books, random thoughts, that do not bring God glory. No doubt, crazy thoughts will creep into your mind. Do not entertain those thoughts. Start praying, or start quoting your favorite scriptures, or start singing worship songs to combat this attack from your enemy. I guarantee there is either someone in your life right now, or soon will be, that needs to know and see how wonderful Jesus is, and that the Lord is alive in you and through you by how you act and by what they hear coming out of your mouth. Dear God, thank you for your love and patience with us. Strengthen us against the attacks of the enemy and help us see the traps he puts before us. Help us focus all of our thoughts and our heart on you, Lord. And as David prayed in Psalms 141, set a guard over my mouth, Lord. Keep watch over the door of my lips. And also in Psalms 19, May these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.